Good morning, this is Artvark892. This is, I believe, my sixth tutorial video. This is going to be covering the YE ship-based and YG land-based radio navigation uh, beacons. All the information in this video applies to U.S. Army Air Force, U.S. Navy, and Royal Air Force and Royal Navy ships and aircraft. Okay, I'm going to be explaining how to place them on a map for a mission and how to use them in flight. One of the most important things you can have for this, to be able to use these, is the guide that came with the update for 410. If you go to page 31, it'll show you a radio beacon. Uh, ignore these letters. These, this is just part of the sample. Although I would suggest highly that you read this, it'll help. Okay, but what we need is these numbers around the circle because I can never remember what they are. All right. So let's open up. Let's get Isle 2 Sturmovik loaded and uh, start building a mission. All right, full mission builder. Let's open up a nice big ocean map. Uh, let's do Hawaii. Alright, there's the island. We're going to place two things. We're going to place the ship that we're trying to find and a land-based beacon. Now, as I said before, these beacons only work with U.S. and British uh, ships and aircraft. So, we'll take the Lexington, put it here, Make sure the properties are red, that's the default. And for some reason it is not letting me put a waypoint, so I'll put it farther away from the island. I don't know why I wasn't doing that. Alright, so we'll do that. And stationary objects for the YG beacon, which is the land-based one. Right here, we'll put that there. All right. Now these are, as you can see, these are red. These are what we use. Now we'll need to place an airplane. The player aircraft. Uh, we'll go for an F3. Here, plane one, properties. We'll go to USN, lost pilot. We'll give him a waypoint of due north. He's flying away from the island. He doesn't know where he's at. Um, it is set for player. Now, I'll show you how this works. Let's save it. Beacons. During this mission, I'm going to be pausing to go back and forth a lot. Now, you'll see right off the bat that Yes, that YG beacon is on the map. It always will be. You'll always find it. Um, that helps you uh, navigate. Now, the carrier is not, and it will not be on the mini-map or the briefing map, unless, of course, you have all of the icons turned on. I have all of my icons turned off. Miscellaneous realistic navigation is turned on. You need that to be able to use any of this information. All right, arming. Okay, F for F3. Little fat belly, and let's fly this thing, and I'll show you how it works. Let's get her going. That's about right. It should fly pretty level. If not, no big deal. All right, bring up the. Uh, radio navigation menu. By default, I believe it's the tab key. And you'll see a lot at the bottom of it, it has ship YE and NDB info. Shows the Lexington. The radio beacon identification is AR. So when you tune in radio beacons, there's the YG, there's AR type YE. That's the one that we're tuned into. We're tuned in to the Lexington. Now, that big long line of letters, that's the important information. Each of those letters, in turn, stands for 30 degrees 
of the circle HTB let's look at HTB HTB would be H would be 0 to 30 T would be 30 to 60 B would be 60 to 90 so if the carrier happens to broadcast uh, and we pick up the Morse code for letter T which is we know is right here on the first set of three we know that we are this direction from it because it's broadcasting T which is 30 to 60 to get to the carrier you'll need to fly the opposite direction 240 to 210 let's see this actually in use it might make more sense so we're tuned in we have to wait a while these broadcasts a bit slowly they, they don't come across very often you have to kind of wait for it I don't know where I'm at I don't see any islands. Oh, wait, no, there's. No, that's my tail. Uh -huh, never mind. Um, so we're tuned into the carrier. I just realized we may be too far from it. But we'll see. We'll see if it picks it up. We'll give it a couple minutes. While we're waiting, I'll show you on the mini map. It doesn't show me, it doesn't show the ship, it only shows that AM radio. I think we're too far from it to be able to hear it. We should have heard something by now. So let's uh, let's alter this a little bit. We'll put us a lot closer. We've just come back from bombing a Japanese carrier. We know we're headed generally in the right direction. We just don't know where our carrier is. Let's try this again. Save. Play. All right, I am lost. I'm out in the middle of the ocean. Let's tune in. We want to tune in A R for the Lexington. All right, so there we go. We're tuned in the Lexington. We're waiting to hear it. It's out here somewhere. I don't see anything. Luckily, I got a lot of fuel. I don't know where the fuel gauge is. It's down there somewhere. I'm not going to worry about it. We should be picking up the Lexington soon. Unless we're too far from it. Maybe I used the wrong map. The Hawaii Coral Sea map is huge. It just goes on forever. And I believe the range for these is only about 40 miles 40 to 7 miles at 10,000 feet I'm too low get some altitude to be able to pick up the signal. We're so far from it. Ah, there we go. Alright, we just heard P. So, if you look at it, P is the fourth letter. That means it's at 90 to 120 degrees is where they're broadcasting. P was the fourth letter, so it would be right here where the K is. They're broadcasting out the letter P 90 to 120 degrees. So that means, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> we need to head the opposite direction towards A, 300, 270 to 300 degrees to get to the carrier. It's broadcasting this way, we want to fly this way. So compass right about here 
Alright. We're on course. P is the fourth letter. It means it's broadcasting it between 90 and 120 degrees. Remember, every letter stands for 30 degrees, so it'd be HDB would be 30, 60, 90. And then P, of course, would be 90 to 120. So we should be flying approximately the right direction. It's out here somewhere. Okay. If it happens to be on the line, that makes it pretty simple. You just fly right between. Uh, for example, if it was broadcast, if we picked up B and P, we'd be right between those two. So you would fly on the line between 90 and 100, or 60 to 120 degrees. You could fly directly at 90, and that probably puts you really close. Let's trim this aircraft. I'm tired trying to do this. So, nothing on the map, don't know where I'm at, except I know that I'm headed for the carrier. Let's see if we can find it. Oops, hard to fly level. This map is huge, it's going to take me a while to find it. Still flying approximately the right direction. Flying uh, for a long time. I have probably placed it too far apart. Gonna run out of fuel. I know it's out here. You know, I should have turned the icons on. It'd be a lot easier to explain how this is working the icons are on, but anyway. Okay. So that's how to use the YE shipbound uh, radar. Um, I wish I could actually find the carrier, but trust me, it is out there. I'm headed the right direction because I know that I'm headed towards it. Um, it's broadcasting at P which is 90 to 120, so I'm flying 270 to 300 degrees to get to it, as you can see right here. Uh, probably a lot closer to 300 than I should be, but that's okay. As I get closer, if I get too far off course, the letters will change and I can use it to broadcast. I can find out where I'm at. Now, found the carrier, refueled, and now I'm headed home. Gonna take it back in for a major inspection. So I need to get back to the island. I need to get to AM. All right, now the YG always uses the same code, and here it is right here: DWR KAN UGM LFS. Use exactly the same as we use the YE beacon. Um, however, the um, communications menu will not show you this code for the YG beacon this guide has a mnemonic to help you remember it. I don't like it, but apparently, historically, that is the code that they used to teach them this. Did Willie really kill a nasty, ugly German man last Friday or Saturday? As long as you remember that, you can always find your way back to an LG beacon. So, let's un unpause it. And let's go to the YG beacon of AM. Maybe too far from the island to hear it. But let's see what happens. Um, I know that the island is about 150 degrees from us. So we'll turn around. The only reason I know it's at about that distance is because using the radio beacon for the ship told me approximately where I was in relation to that ship. And since I know that the ship's out here somewhere because I built the mission, 
they would tell me that if I'm up here, then I'm, I need to fly approximately south, basically, to get back to the island. So, let's head south. We're too far to hear that beacon. But remember, if you remember this code, did really, really kill a nasty, ugly German man last Friday or Saturday? It will help you remember the the code for the YG beacon. If you're headed for the land-based YG beacon, uh, and it happens to be, let's say that you are tuned into it, you're close enough to hear it, and the code that you receive is Morse code for A. Did Willie really kill A? All right. So you know that the YG land-based be beacon is broadcast in the letter A this direction so you need to head this direction to head towards it. Alright, this is a lot of information. Um, I hope it helped. Uh, by far I can strongly suggest that if you want to use these beacons get that page out of the 410 guide printed. If you don't have it, go to Mission for Today. Look in the download section for the official patches. Download the 410 and Hopefully you're already patched up to that, in which case this guide should be inside your IL-2-1946 installation folder. Uh, it's a PDF file. You should be able to find it. Um, if you have any questions about any of this information, hopefully I didn't make it too confusing. I wish I'd used a smaller map. It'd been a lot easier to explain. Post questions down below or, like I said, missionfortoday.com. Go there and... We'll figure it out. Thanks, and good luck navigating.